Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Ooh, I'm so tired. That drive up yesterday when we went to the 412 Motorsport meet killed me. It dead ass took us to get there three and probably 45, three hours and 45 minutes. And then to drive back, I was super dead, right? So I let Patrick drive and this fool, I told him not to step on the car because it was already misfiring. I have the tools and I have the spark plugs ready to replace the old spark plugs that are completely burnt out on the F32. First thing this fool does, pulling out of the freeway, does a pull on the F32. That shit just died on us, huh? Now, what do you do next? Floor it? Yes. No! No! Don't floor it! Floor it? No! No, no! Don't floor it! Okay, floor So we had to, like, we we're, like, going, like, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour on the freaking freeway. Like, there was, like, cars behind it. So, we found a safe place to pull over. I detuned the car back to stage one, um, cleared the codes, and that helped a little bit for us to find a safer place for us. Working on the E90 today, we need to get this car up on the road again because it's been sitting here for about a month. I told myself I was going to do this again. I was going to get the wrap done in about a, maybe a week or four, three days, something like that, right? But yep, it's been at least three weeks since I last touched the car. We took off the, the blue wrap, as you guys can tell. We're doing it. Uh, Vivid calls this, uh, what is it called? Uh, Daytona Yellow? Day oh yeah, Daytona Yellow. Vivid calls this Daytona Yellow, this neon yellow, neon green. But this is more like a little toned down. Like you can, de this is definitely, like you're going to see me like a mile away in this color. But it's kind of to uh, toned down. So, right now we finish pretty much all this side. We're going back to the OEM. Tail lights. I got the little... I'm going back to OEM tail lights. I got the little red vinyl to cover this thing. Looks pretty cool. I'm getting rid of the black ones, the, uh, the ones I had running before. I like how these looked in the night because then only the, the little three lines you guys see lit up. So it looked better at night. But I just didn't like the, the, the black look anymore, the smoked out look. So those are going for sale pretty soon. If you guys don't follow me on IG, follow me on IG if you guys are trying to cop this for a low. I'm probably going to end up selling them for probably like 30 bucks or something. Like, I really don't want them, don't need them. I just want them gone. So, this whole panel's done. We even switched out the side markers. We had, like, bigger, thick ones. These are nice and small. And they do the little blinking that the Audi do. What are they called? The sequential? Yeah, sequential LEDs. So, it's pretty cool. It even turns on white. Um, turn on the car where they can see it. The wrap this time, compared to my first and second time that I did it, is coming out, honestly, really good. Like, really good. Like, look at this. Like, that's pretty good, guys. Like, I did the wrapping. I, I merged it. Didn't use too much heat, so the color still stayed the same. On the blue one, if you guys saw my car in person, I used too much heat. So, there was, like, a color right here that wasn't the same color as the blue. Like the like right here, I had bubbles all over. I didn't use enough. Like I did, I just didn't take my time, I guess, with the other two wraps. Like it's just learning experience. I'm pretty sure the next time we rewrap this color, because I don't know, I just like switching colors. I'm gonna do an even better job. But for right now, like this looks really nice. So we're gonna work on this side today. By the end of today and the end of this blog, I'm trying to finish maybe the front fender and maybe one or two doors at least. For sure, the side skirt, the side skirt is super easy. from Fast and Furious? Is that the Ricer, the Honda? Hey, turn that Honda off. Huh? Turn that Honda off. The fool with his Honda. Lies, you ain't even gonna come back. No, you won't. 
Liar. 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 Get your Honda out of here. Half an hour later, we're done. Everything in nice and tucked, nice and neat. Put already the the next uh, side marker. We took off the rumor, took off the nasty big one already. This is still kind of hanging low, just because it's over wrapped. I just need to cut it a little bit, cause there's like plenty. If I pull it down, it's probably gonna be like down here. There's plenty of it. It's just that there's just way too much. So I need to cut it a little bit, and then that's that's still enough to be tucked in. And so we're done with that. It's vivid wrap. It's like in the middle. There's like nasty eBay wrap. There's vivid depending on the wrap that you get. Sometimes you get like pretty high premium like vivid wraps. Like if you buy like the nice color changing ones or the super high end ones, the vivid premium ones, those are pretty nice. But this is like the middle range. And then at the top, I would say it's like 3M and Avery. Those are pretty good. <laughs> This material is super thin compared to Vivid. Vivid's like really hard. It's like, I don't know, I don't even know how to compare it, but you can smell the adhesive, huh? Like it just, it just smells, oh, this is nice wrap. Look at this, sliding through. And the thing with Vivid, when we try to do large panels, like, like the hood and stuff, when we wrap, put it down, it just would shrinkle and it, it would wrinkle like everywhere. And this one, all, you, all we did literally they lift it up and pull down. Look at this. No wrinkles, no nothing. And if we did that with the Vivid Wrap, a bunch of wrinkles, it would be extremely hard because then we would have to start in the middle and look at this. So we're using a little bit of wax. Well, a little bit more like a lot of wax. Because what I noticed is with this wrap, if I use this, since it's a thicker material, it doesn't really scratch. But with this material, it's scratching like right away. So I'm going to use this. To kind of like get the bubbles out, get the lines, get it straight, and make sure it doesn't scratch. But we're gonna leave it like this, we're gonna call it a night. Patrick, you, you guys saw him leave like three hours ago. That yeah, fool called us. Back and help us. He's a little. I'll be back in an hour. Uh, I will go help you. And then that fool just dipped out. And he called me 20 minutes ago. He's like, hey, bro, I'm at uh, Sonic. Uh, my car died. And I'm like, yeah, my Honda cool. Died. So we had to go jumpstart his Honda. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so that's where all my energy went. We went over there, we pushed the car like a little bit because it's Sonic, you know, you had to push a little bit and they'd bring the food. We had to push him out of that, push him all the way to the parking lots because we didn't want to make like a little scene right there. So that's where all my energy went. We're going to call it a night.